Hey, good morning, guys. <laughs> this is actually in the afternoon. <clears throat> I usually get out of the mornings and do these. I try to. Some days it just doesn't work out. But. These little pigs are growing. I'll go over here and show you these rascals. They, uh, <laughs> they think I'm out here just to see them. Look at that. They're pretty neat. These little piggies are pretty neat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep, they've grown quite a bit. They seem to be, but anyway, there's our, there's our two little birds. <clears throat> they're laying now, so they're enjoying life. They're happy when they're laying eggs. They make happy little birds that way. It was snowing this morning. I started to come out early this morning, and man, it was. We had a ground cover on here blowing. And, uh, well, you know what? <clears throat> we'll hold on a little bit. Well, hold on a little bit turned out to be most of the day. I spent a lot of time writing scriptures out today, getting into the references and stuff. We got some timber over here that was taken out last year. It's uh, walnut tops. And we got to get in and cut that out. Walnut is one wood that doesn't really uh, burn good in that outdoor furnace because the temperature in that only gets up to 100. I think it said 180 and it dampers it down it it keeps the temperature at I believe it's 180 it may kick it up to, it may go up to, up to 200 but I'm not thinking 180 but anyway it does it keeps the hot water hot and if it gets too hot it boils it out so it's got to stay at a certain temperature which you pop 180 degrees in a home, it does a pretty good job. But the bad thing about doing that is the uh, the ashes makes a a lot of ash in a in wood that just smolders like that. Now you get into oak and it burns up better. Something about it, it's that structure, the makeup of the wood is makes a difference in the fireplace i wish we had a stove in the house now i can take one of them little rascals and get a little fire started in it and we can have windows open to air it out now, i can build a fire and nothing like having one you can back up to if you ever had wood heat in the home you know what i'm saying it's just something about it you can back up to a wood stove and you can get warm on the inside that way. Yep, you sure can. So, I'm thinking, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm going into Philemon. <laughs> Here I go with names. Philemon. All right, so we're getting into that now. And I'm, I'm really surprised the references we've got coming out of that. It's pretty awesome to help how, how these things just all tie in, you know, and I'm anxious to see if it still references a lot of the same verses that we've had throughout the, the, the latest 
Ephesians and Philippians and Colossians and Timothy's and Thessalonians uh, and Titus and see if these still reference the same because it seems like when you get into running references there's always something a handful that keeps popping up I hear a lot of I hear some activity over in here probably little birds they get down in the underbrush down among the leaves and they scratch through that and get little bugs that's I don't know if y'all can, can hear that or not huh. I've not been down here a couple of days been longer than that we didn't come down yesterday I'll tell myself yesterday going down in that creek <laughs> I got to waddling around like a drunk duck and <laughs> ended up splish splashing I had a splash going on a time or two <laughs> yeah I did yep well, I, I told Marcia, you know, man, I went back there and I got a step in sideways. And I did see some pretty neat rock, though. That makes it all better. You know, while you're, while you're stumbling around, you might as well look on the ground where you're going to land. And luckily, I didn't fall all the way down. I did do some fancy stepping, though. I bet it would look funny if somebody would have seen it. <laughs> yep. It wouldn't look good. I bet I look like a... <laughs> uh, I'd know better. Next time I wear my rubber boots. So I don't have to try to find a stepping stone. You know, I'll do that. Let me get me a chair set up over here. I think it's time to... So now let's look what we got in Paul's writings. That ought to work. Put in my pocket here. <clears throat> I've noticed that when my camera gets into the sunlight, it makes those sun rays in it pretty bad. And I've gotten some lens cleaner and try to fix it that way, but I've not had any luck with that yet. I don't think uh, from what I've been seeing it's got a film on it some way I don't know but anyway I'll stay out of the sunlight I know it's it's bright way well, right over here I'll get a piece up here and see how it looks right there it is the sunlight yeah but anyway we'll get in this and see what we got here in in the uh, Philemon, verse 1. And these references down under it, we dig out of Paul's writings. All right? And we'll watch this waterfall. Let me zoom in on it. I like watching water. And uh, something about it is relaxing to me. I know a lot of people like that. So we'll check it out and, and see. I can tip this up just a little bit, get a better angle on that. How's that? <laughs> Get my tripod set up right. There it is. All right, Philemon 1 and these references. And I'll list these down underneath. I used to have an app that I could put them on, my, on the screen as I read them, and that app quit working. I mean, I, it was a paid for app. And, but my phone, something about it, it, I just couldn't get it to work. It just, it just quit. And I download, I, I removed it and then reloaded it a couple of times and no luck. So I'm back now to putting them back under the, in the more section of this thing. And so that's where these references are when you go look for them. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus and a brother 
Timothy to Philemon, the beloved and our fellow worker. Wherefore we having much boldness in Christ to be enjoying you as to what is prosper, what is proper, because of love I am rather entreating, being such one as Paul the aged, yet now a prisoner also of Christ Jesus. On this behalf I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for you the nations, since you surely hear of the administration of the grace of God that is given to me for you. For by revelation the secret is made known to me, according as I write before, in brief, by which you who are reading are able to apprehend my understanding in the secret of Christ, which in other generations is not made known to the sons of humanity, as it was now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets. I am entreating you then, I, the prisoner in the Lord, to walk worthily of the calling with which you were called, with all humility and meekness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit with a tie of peace. During every prayer and petition, be praying on every occasion in spirit, being vigilant also for it with all perseverance and petition concerning all the saints, and for me, that to me expression may be granted in the opening of my mouth with boldness to make known the secret of the evangel for which I am conducting an embassy in a chain, that in it I should be speaking boldly as I must. You may not be ashamed then of the testimony of our Lord, nor yet of me, his prisoner, but suffer evil with the evangel in accord with the power of God, who saves us and calls us with a holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with his own purpose and the grace which is given us in Christ Jesus before times the onion. <laughs> Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, through the will of God and brother Timothy, to the ecclesia of God, which is in Corinth, together with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia. Wherefore, having much boldness in Christ, to be enjoying you as to what is proper, because of the love I am rather entreating, being such a one as Paul the aged, yet now a prisoner of Christ Jesus. <clears throat> Paul and Silvanus and Timothy, to the ecclesia of the Thessalonians, in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, greeting you are Ephraim, my fellow captive in Christ, uh, Christ Jesus, and Mark, and Articius, Demas, Luke, my fellow workers, for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Fellowship, faithful is God, through whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now I deem it necessary to send to you Aphrodite, my fellow worker and fellow soldier, yet your apostle and minister for my need, since in fact, he was longing for you all and depressed because you hear that he is, in, he is infirm. Wherefore, when we could by no means longer refrain, it seemed well for us to be left in Athens alone. And we send Timothy, our brother, and God's servant in the evangel of Christ to establish and console you for the sake of your faith. Greeting you as Articius, my fellow captive, and Mark, cousin of Barnabas, concerning whom you obtain directions. If he should be coming to you, receive him. And Jesus turned justice, who are the circumcision. These are the only fellow workers for the kingdom of God who became a solace to me. So that, my brethren, beloved and longed for, my joy and wreath, be standing firm thus in the Lord. My beloved, I am entreating Judea, and I am entreating Scythe, to be mutually disposed in the Lord. Yes, I am asking you also, genuine yoke fellow, be aiding them. These women who compete together with me in the evangel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the scroll of life. <laughs> wow, this is going to be good, uh, getting into this. I just started writing these out, and that's the references to uh, Philemon verse 1. 
<coughs> all right so I've started right now and in, in, in the, I'm liking this it's, it's pretty neat so I'm anxious to see how this all plays out all right it feels good to feel good again it feels good to feel good I'll put that on my jacket we don't add the scripture I'll put that up all right oh my goodness we're 15 minutes into this thing well I need to get out for a walk and I know y'all like going out so that's what we done get out and, and uh, look around so anyway what an awesome day it's been uh, March is kind of under the weather right now but she come home from town and she said well I'm gonna take a hot bath so she must be getting cold that's a start anyway we'll nip it in the bud I got some stuff for in there and she enjoyed that and uh, it kicked it for me and it did it for her we got a lot of vitamin C and, and D and natural remedies we take care of it you know God provides <laughs> how awesome is that anyway it's time to get the day started Time to get up and see what God's got for us. Y'all ready? I think I am. We'll do that. Grace and peace to y'all. We appreciate you and we love you. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. See you then.